So are you ready to, to talk about the centenary again so soon after the last time? <laughs> oh my goodness, please. Guys, Troy isn't telling me the centenary title. Apparently it's out and he's holding that information against me. So please, can we get on with the episode? You just want to get into it. You, just want to, you don't want me please. to kind of drag the intro out and say no. we've got so many pictures For to talk goodness about. Sake. We've got a title. No. It's so good please. that we've moved our podcast plans around. I'm just going to oh, keep yeah. saying this just to draw it out to make it that much worse for you because oh, I am enjoying gosh. this. Oh, please okay. roll the intro. Let's roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to Who's There, a Doctor Who podcast, the show where two YouTubers get together and talk about Doctor Who. I'm your host, Troy, also known as Red Archer Live, and with me, as always, is the very tired, praying for some sleep very soon, Crispy Pro. How are you doing, my friend? Oh, I'm just a bit sleepy, mate. It's just it's a little a bit sleepy. It's so, a, what, what's what's happened today, Troy? <laughs> Ladies happened? and gentlemen, for context, Crispy and I have been on call now for a grand total of two hours it has been the most cursed day in the history of this podcast because it's been crazy as a lot of you know we were planning to record looking back on series four today featuring special guest william who that was the plan and very often with our podcast with a plan things Mm. don't always work out unfortunately william who has had some (laughs) some very bad technical difficulties he couldn't get a recording going on his side without picking up our voices and in a podcast that's a cardinal sin you, you basically you can't make it work editing wise, so he's going to get that fixed, and he will appear in a future episode. Yeah, he said it might not be next week, but we'll we'll work it out. It might just be a different topic. We'll work it out. We de- we definitely still want Will to come on. We yeah. do want Will to come on because it was. I'm really excited for the prospect. You know, I really want like we want more guests on, and the what other one we booked is coming up soon as well. So we're we're trying to work things out in the background, but we're not doing series four today because, ladies and gentlemen, the newest edition of the Doctor Who magazine dropped, and we want to talk about that. Because there are pictures and we finally have a title for the Doctor Who Centenary Special. So I know we didn't not long, we not long talked about 13's final episode, but we've got some more stuff to talk about. So we're going to do that. So maybe a slightly shorter episode than normal. I don't really know how we're working this out. We'll just keep going until we, until we need to stop. (laughs) Yeah, we've kind of decided that because of like what we're going to talk about, it's unfair to try and slide series four into this because then that's not getting as much time. Like we want to just kind of chat about this, go through the photos. So... Before we get, we've got a tiny bit of news before we get into that, I want to preface this. We're recording this on Wednesday. The Doc 2 magazine comes out on a Thursday. Obviously, our episode goes out on a Saturday. So, there is etiquette to how we talk about the magazine. We don't want to just put big chunks of text on the screen. What I will be doing is I'm sharing a select few images that are in the magazine, because by that point, it'll be in a few days, and hopefully no one's got a problem with that. If people hate that, we won't do it again. Promise. But hopefully, just showing the few pictures we've got will be all right. Um, we're going to talk about them. If there's any bits of text I've got, I will just read them out. I won't show them on screen. Please do go and get the magazine and support them if you can, if you can afford to and you're able to. Absolutely, but don't worry, yeah. we'll, we'll cover everything you need to know as we're talking about it here. Okay, so that's the plan. We were hoping that one of us might get the magazine early. It didn't happen. So we're basically making do with what we've got. So... Before we get into everything, let's do our polls. So last week, we asked you guys, when we do our live centenary special episode, should that be a bonus episode or just that week's that week's episode, but six days early? So in other words, obviously the centenary end airs on a Sunday. We do our episodes on a Saturday. So you were saying, you know, do we just do that episode on the Sunday and then take the next Saturday off, come back the Saturday after? Or should we still do every Saturday and the centenary special is a bonus episode? And it's very nice to report that on both Anchor and YouTube, the majority of you said... You can, you can have a break if you want. Take that Saturday off, you know? So, I find that so funny. Yeah. I, find, I literally thought everyone's going to be like, no, we need content right now. But I feel like, I don't know, We maybe maybe our audience is just so sympathetic to us. Maybe they're just you so know? used to us taking breaks anyway. They're like, yeah, what's another they're week like, off? Well, what's, what's another one? Who cares? <laughs> what's another one? What's another one off? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Podcast with a plan, baby. I'm waiting to just buzz about all this stuff. And I'm so excited for you to see it. It's going to be so good. It's it's going to wake it's going to wake me up, mate. It's going to wake me up. I've had a crazy day and I need to pick me up. <laughs> Genuinely, it's like when Sea Devils came out, which, by the way, five months today when you're listening to this episode... Unreal. Saturday, the 17th of September, is five months exactly since Legend of the Sea Devils came out, if you can believe that. Um, I but I, I texted you and I said, when you watch Sea Devils, record your reaction to the trailer at the end. Make sure you yeah. record it. 
because I wanted to see your reaction. It wasn't just for a video. I knew it would do well for you as a video because I'm just such a kind, it considerate did. YouTuber friend. <laughs> but I was like, I was like, genuinely getting your recording on camera would be so good because I wish I'd recorded mine. But I was just sat in my mm. living room with my mum just watching the trailer and going, oh, people, things, lots of things happening in 30 seconds. Ah! <laughs> my mum just watching me like panic. It was very yeah. funny. Um so yeah, 75% of people on Anchor and 71% of people on YouTube uh, said we can take a break. But we'll be honest with you, we're probably not going to anyway. We, we asked as a buffer in nah. case we decide to, but I feel like, you know, it's just live episodes we're are easier to edit. We're going to be far too you know, excited, it's... mate. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. So, brief bit of news before we get into centenary. So, we mentioned, was it two weeks ago, three weeks ago? I don't know. It wasn't that long ago. Yeah, I think it was only two weeks ago. Yeah, it couldn't be that long ago. Uh, but a documentary is coming called Doctor Who Am I? And it's a documentary centred around the 1996 TV movie starring Paul McGann. So, the latest news as of Monday is that we now have a cinema release date as well as a digital slash uh, physical media release date. So, this is courtesy of Radio Times again. I'm going to read out some information from the article and just chat about it briefly with you, Crispy. So, oh, yeah. It was announced last month that feature-length documentary Doctor Who Am I would be getting a theatrical release, and we now know exactly when fans will get the opportunity to see it. Kaleidoscope Film Distribution has announced that it will be released in select UK cinemas from Thursday the 13th of October 2022. Ironically, wow. the exact same day that the next Doctor Who magazine comes out, but we'll get that. Uh, before mm. coming to DVD and digital forms in, on Monday, the 7th of November. This 80-minute film follows Matthew Jacobs, the screenwriter behind the TV movie, as he drags himself back into the show's American fan base despite the outcry from disapproving fans which occurred upon the film's release and the subsequent rejection that he felt. A trailer has been released for the film, which you can watch right here, right now. So there's a, it's on YouTube. It's just called Doctor Who Am I Trailer 2022. Uh, uploaded by the username Kaleidoscope ENT, all one word. Uh, so if you want to check them out and watch the trailer, feel free to do so. Uh, while the film predominantly follows Jacobs, it also includes the original cast of the 1996 film, including the eighth Doctor Paul McGann, Eric Roberts, who played the Master, and Doctor Grace Holloway's actress, Daphne Ashbrook. What do we nice. think about this documentary coming out? Pretty cool, eh? I can almost guarantee you, Troy, that it will be better than the TV movie itself. Oh, I think it will be way more interesting. Oh, mate. I, I'm just saying. Really? I, Are we doing it's that? not a hot take, mate. It's not a hot take. Hey, we gave, what, the TV movie like a six? Yeah, we did. And then immediately watched Sea Devils and went, maybe we were too nice to the TV movie. Maybe we were yeah. far too nice to the TV movie. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I think it's going to be a great watch. I'm definitely definitely watching it. I don't know if we, it's going to get a cinema release here at all, but um, maybe that's when I'll fly over to the UK. Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, you should do. You should do. We've talked about this. The thing that worries me, though, is that if it's going to be anything like the cinema release for Do the Peter Cushing Doctor Who movies a couple of months back, it's not going to be much of a cinema release. Because I remember it aired, I think it was Odeon in Liverpool, which is like the closest cinema to me that was showing it, but it was only for one or two days. And I was busy both the days, so I didn't get to watch them in the cinema. And it broke my heart because I really wanted to make the effort to watch those because I've only ever seen the second one. And I was like, oh, to watch both of them in the cinema, that'd be great. Never happened. Um, so I'm really hoping there's a bit more of a push behind it. But with it being such a small thing, like a documentary on a Doctor Who movie that most people either haven't seen or don't like that much, I can't imagine it being, you know, the next Thor, Love and Thunder. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't I don't see there being that much of a fuss over it. So I don't, I don't really know. Um, but if I can, I would very much like to watch it. I think it would be very good to watch. Well, watching the 50th in cinemas was one of my favourite things, but they only had that for the day, I think, and that was only a one-day thing, so maybe it'll be yeah. the same with the Paul McGann. So, I don't it know. It might be. I don't know. It depends. Yeah, that was so good in cinemas. I, I, it was so cool to see them push it that much, like, with a theatrical release in so many places. Mm. Like, I mean, alone having it in the UK was great, but just having it in other countries like Australia, that's, that is honestly mad. Um, and they did it for Deep Breath as well, didn't they? And it was they? a full cinema too. Full cinema too. Yeah, they did yeah, it for it was Deep full, Breath yeah. as well. And, and, and Woman Who Fell to Earth, funnily enough. They had it here. The cinema I forget release. that, yeah. I never saw Deep Breath or Woman Who Fell to Earth in cinemas. I guess they just wasn't as successful then. Or I'm really stupid and missed it when it was happening. I, I saw Woman Who Fell to Earth in cinemas and it was awesome. That was so much fun. That was a really good experience. I've seen people rent out cinemas before and, like, play their own things. I wonder how easy it'd be to do that at, like, my local cinema and be like, hey, yo, can I just watch this on a big screen? Where, when when I get to the UK, let's do that, Troy. That could be a fun podcast episode. Oh, my goodness. Imagine. Oh, no. We, you know, I'd we, love, we I'd rented love. out uh, a cinema to watch Doctor Who. I would love to watch the Centenary special on the big screen. It's Oof. 90 minutes. It would be perfect Oofed. for cinema. It'd be so good. Get your popcorn. Get, get your, your popcorn. popcorn. Oh, it'd be oh, so good. Oh, it'd be so oh, good. It'd be so good. 
Oh, it'd be so good. So I'll be watching that documentary. I'm excited, you know. Yeah, as you said, yeah, that's better than the TV movie itself. But you know, you didn't you didn't have to you know as as the song goes, you didn't have to cut cut them off. You know, I don't know. I, was, I don't know why I was going for somebody you used to know there, but wow. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> I was like, is I is that a is that a reference to a it's song? A dated reference. It's a very dated reference. Very now. dated gonna, reference. Google. Like, when did that song come out? I'm about 2012, to 2012, 2011. How did you? All right, you're saying which one are you saying? 2011 or 2012? 2012, 2012. 2011, you were wrong. Damn it! I that thought it was song a top is song 11 years old. I am nearly double the age of that song. That song is half my age. That is. Sam. What a Damn, tune. Son. What a tune. But do you know what else is a tune? What else what? is music to my ears? The title of the centenary special. Oh my god. I... Ladies and it? gentlemen, let's not waste <gasps> any more time. You know, our new sections can go on for a while sometimes, but not today. Not today, Buckaroo. Not today. Because I'm, I'm going to get the job I'm going to do. I'm going to do it to you via a picture. I'm going to send you the picture oh, I can't. that Troy, includes it. And I'm Troy, going to read I'm actually, it out. I'm actually going to cry. <laughs> I'm tearing up right now at the prospect <laughs> watch, of watch me Doctor give you the Who title News. Go, this is awful. <laughs> this, is, this is horrible. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know oh, nothing. Wow. The exact wording from the magazine. This is new from TARDIS Central. Thank you very much. I've got the picture that's even better. Are you ready? I, it's in disc. I'm oh. ready to hit the enter key. Troy, no, hang on. Do you want me to I'm read it or, and then send you the picture or send you the picture first? This is a build-up. I'm loving this. I c- uh, Shall I no, read it? Yeah. For purely, purely for our audio listeners, I think you should read it and then send me the picture afterwards. Okay. As I say okay. the title, I will hit the enter. The title okay. of the Doctor Who Centenary Special, the feature-length episode that will form part of the BBC's 100th birthday celebrations, has been revealed. And oh, it I is can't. The Power of... Of the Doctor. Let's go! It is. I Ooh. nearly said it back stint earlier. <laughs> I, d- I did actually nearly say it back stint a- and save my bacon. That's a Moffat. That's a Moffat as title. Indeed. For, for context, I was looking on Gallifrey Base, of all things, for extra p- images and stuff, and I went to type in the power of the Doctor and went to say it out loud, and I went, the power of, and then went... He doesn't know the title. So, three. Why have I searched the power of three? I'm an idiot and moved on from it. Because <laughs> I nearly said it. I was like, no. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. I, get I was it like, now. no, I can't say that. So, the power of the doctor is the title. What are our thoughts? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm down. I'm down. I mean, I feel like our fan title, Woman Who Fell to Time, was definitely one I would have liked more. Yeah. But, I mean, the power of the doctor, interesting. Okay. I don't know how it's going to play into it. It's a very vague title. Very, very vague title. Doesn't reveal much. It says in the image that it it, it recalls t- the titles of the classic 1966 story, The Power of the Daleks. So it could be a reference oh, there. Oh, mm. okay. That is nice, actually. It could well be that. That is nice. Depends on how much the Daleks play into it. I mean, we theorise the Daleks would be more of a passing cameo. So I it's... think they still will be. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe it should... not. It would have been greater if it was The Power of the Master. Ooh. That would have oh, set no, off as like a real threat. People, people would have been like, oh, why, why did they no, just make like, Jodie's last episode but, about the master? I mean, you know, we have had, you know, the time of the Doctor for Matt Smith. Now we've got the yeah. power of the Doctor, you know? Yeah. And mm-hmm. the name of the Doctor and did, Asylum did, of the Daleks. <laughs> I did love uh, Mr. Tardis's joke about it, that he was like, uh, was it too much to ask for the title to be The Parting of the Gays? <laughs> which is just it's just that was, that was one of the funniest things I've seen on Twitter oh, in a while that, okay, I was like well that is done. such a that, is, that should be like the little like like the Thasmin version of the title that everyone's yeah, referred yeah, to as yeah. that have you watched oh, The Parting damn. of the Gays yet? oh I've not seen it I heard it's really gay <laughs> That that is very good well played Mr. Tardis yeah, well that played that was very 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 well played so Brilliant. the power wow. of the Doctor so I'm what shocked. do we what do we think? What do we think about the title? Let's let's talk about that for a second before we get into pictures I, and things. What what do we think? Uh, I like it. I I I, ge- I genuinely do like. I'm not disappointed by that. I would be disappointed if it was like, you know, the resurrection of Rangskor of Kolos or something like oh, that. God, like, no, oh no, 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 no! Stop know? that! Stop that something immediately! Like, you know, the Saranga conundrum. You know, there's been some really weird titles, but this one it feels like a Doctor Who title. It feels co- well, I mean, um, without sounding too cheesy, uh, it sounds like a powerful title. It yeah. is a very powerful title. It is. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm trying to think of like the connotations, you know, like what does it mean? You know, the regenerative power. Is she get, Yeah. Is it her regenerative power? Is it the power she wields when she opens the fob watch? Which I'm assuming she's going to do. I mean, but what do we think? Yeah. Do, do you think it's to do with that? It could be. I mean, we've, we've the theorized doctor. previously that clip from the trailer of her with the regeneration energy is just her opening the fob watch because 
You know, we, we, we've heard about the regeneration and the kind of the suggestions that it might be on a beach. It might be outside the target. Yeah, yeah, so some, something like that. It doesn't line up with the trailer if that's the case. So it's, no. it, that adds more mm, fuel to that fire. The power I don't of know. the doctor. I, I mean, well, we have... it, you know... Go. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. no. Go, 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 go. Oh, I was just thinking... Um, you know how in the name of the Doctor, like we all thought that the, the the name of the Doctor was going to be revealed in that episode, like that was kind of hyped. But then at the yeah. end, you're like, oh, that's why it's called the name of the Doctor because it's like I didn't do that in the name of the Doctor. And then you know, what if Yaz is like, oh, uh, that woman absolutely changed my life, and Dan's all like, oh, that's the power of the Doctor. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like that one Twitter account that like like edits like captions from films to include the titles like well yeah, Master yeah, Wayne yeah. I guess this is how the Batman begins like, Batman just, like begins. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. made the effort to slide in the title <laughs> in the dialogue and then you'd be like oh he said it he said it oh he said it he said well that's that's just where I'm going that's that's one thing I'm thinking like if it's like the impact of the Doctor that that is like ha- like impacted Yaz obviously that's kind of where I think it might be going. Maybe. Yeah, we can do a Leonardo pointing meme then, you know. Wait, hang on. How yeah. old are you? Remind me. I'm 24. You're 24. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, oh, 24, 25. I was like, well, that's good. You're still young enough for Leonardo DiCaprio to, to date you then. Yeah, not for much longer, though. Crispy's not birthday's much longer. coming up, folks. I just, <laughs> the memes that are going around about that. Oh, it's if, so funny. If you funny. haven't seen somehow, every person Leonardo DiCaprio has dated, I believe every single person, he not either, every single one, but a large majority. A large majority. Okay, it'd be funny if yeah. it was every single one, because that's where the I meme's kind of going. He has either broken up with them or it's ended or whatever, but at or before they turn 25. So it was becoming yeah. a joke now, and it, it, it peaked. Yeah. I loved it at the Emmys. People might have thought it was too far there, but someone like introduced Zendaya at the Emmys. And oh, went, gosh. Oh, she's 26. You know, 26 is a weird age in Hollywood, because, you know, you're, all, you're young enough to still pull off playing a teenager, but you're also too old for Leonardo DiCaprio to date you. And she was just like, Argh. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. That's very funny. <laughs> she's got Tom Holland, man. She's sorted. She's sorted. Power yeah, couple, no, she's you know? absolutely right. But speaking of power couples, the power of the Doctor, the power couple here is the Doctor and Yaz. Segway! Oh, that was great. We got I'm it. proud of that. We brought it back. I'm proud of that. We brought it back. That was good. The, po- the, like the podcast with the plan that we've had to adjust and, the, yeah. you know, our segues. Where's Paul? We've got, we've got everything here. Paul? This is it. It's all coming together. It's all Our coming. greatest this enemies is... all uniting oh for, the, for the Who's There centenary special. Oh, wow. The the Who's There cinematic universe is expanding, folks. It is expand- expanding. Yeah, the hierarchy oh, of yeah. power in the Who's There universe is about to change. <laughs> <laughs> Still love that line from Black Adam. I don't... Oh, it's just... It's very funny. It's very, very funny. Okay, so, Crispy. Yeah. I have saved some images, and I don't know where they've gone. Fun fact. Oh, that's good. That's um, good. Yeah, that's really I'm good. I, I literally, I have 10 images open in paint.net. So I was like, I, I've got them all sorted. And I'm looking again. And those images are just not here on my computer. So that's good. Did, um, did the BBC get a hold of your computer? They and might they have said, done. No, they they genuinely today. may have done. Not I'm, today. See ya. <laughs> well, I, I can see what the images are. So where are they sit? Oh, they saved in a different folder. I see. I'm, I'm, I'm a you big You are so silly. Can you I'm, keep all I'm this so, in, please? I'm so silly. Oh, yeah, I'll leave this in. That's fine. Oh, I'll leave brilliant. it in. I just, want, I just want people to people to see the real us, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, they here's how we're going to do this. We're going to break through a series of photos in the magazine. We'll do our best to not include text, because I know there might be some people who say don't even show the images, but we're trying to be considerate, with, but we want to have obviously enough to talk about, and we want the video listeners to see as much as we yeah. can without going too far. So again, if you guys think we maybe should do a few less images, please let us know. We're, we're just trying this. We haven't really based an episode off a magazine too much before. Never. Um, so we're going to start with the cover, which everyone's seen. So it's it's all about this magazine is leading with a 20-page interview oh with Sasha Dewan. And that, that picture on the front st- immediately is just stunning. It's stunning. That is it's a great. Oh picture. my! I'm using that as a thumbnail. I don't care. I don't oh, care. Oh yeah, people say. do it, do it, do it. You, you I don't care that. what people say. Yeah, that's great. Great. Get the digital wow. edition of the magazine as a subscriber, and you might be able to get it to pull as a thumbnail. That should work. You know. Oh you know, my workarounds, goodness. Workarounds. So we have got pictures of the master. We've got pictures of the thirteenth Doctor. We've got pictures of Yaz. Like, how how do you want to go about this? Do you have a, pre- a preference as to what you want to see first? I, I honestly do not mind. Just throw it in and we'll have a chit chat. All right. All right, then. All right. All right. How about we, we focus on the man of the hour then? How about we focus on Sasha Dewan to begin with? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, because I've got something in here and I realized it while we were talking. I've seen Twitter going nuts about it and it's going to be a big point of discussion. It's going to be one of our focal points and I'm excited to get there. Oh my. It's going to be. Troy, oh. you're getting me excited, mm-hmm. mate. Mm-hmm. This is a good episode of the podcast. Yeah. I know it is. It was, it's been shambles today. But yeah, honestly, this episode is so exciting. Yeah. 
I, and I get to like help. It's it's better structure because I get to kind of break it down. And, and Crispy is our is yeah. like our audience surrogate. If you don't know the stuff, I you're am finding the out audience with it. surrogate. It's beautiful. Right now. It's beautiful. You know, I took the sacrifice so that Crispy could have these surprises. It wasn't that. I just saw the title and went, "Hey, what?" Well, actually, hey, no. William, hey, who DM'd yo. it to me, and then that because we were yeah. going to do series four, and we kind of went, "Actually, we'll do it about the the magazine." And then William obviously couldn't make it, so it's all. You know, hopefully we didn't say this earlier. By the way, hopefully we'll do series four next week. But I've just realised we didn't really acknowledge the big news that happened in the UK. Should we just acknowledge that very briefly oh and explain gosh. why what's going on? Because yeah, I realised we I didn't mean, mention that, and then we'll get into ahead. contents. Go ahead. It's been it's been big here too. Obviously, everyone in knows it's, this. If you it's, don't it's know this, I don't worldwide. know where you've been living. But yeah. at, uh, you no doubt know that Queen Elizabeth II passed away last week. Um, regardless of your views on the royal family, anything like that, we're not touching on that because there's been definitely very vocal arguments on both sides. Yeah. As a result, there's kind of a, a period of mourning in the UK right now. And definitely. What's happened is the BBC Doctor Who account and the Doctor Who magazine Twitter accounts have both just died. They've both just gone, Do you know what? We're not tweeting. I mean, I definitely think it's BBC tapping them on the shoulder and going, hey, oh, hey, 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 get off the keyboard. Yeah, get off the keyboard. I reckon they're not tweeting. They've done that for everything. Like, I yeah. just feel a lot of, a lot. Of, I, yeah, I don't know. A lot of businesses would definitely feel the mm-hmm. pressure to be respectful. I mean, it is obviously sad. The passing of everyone is sad. Yeah. There's but, a debate um, to be had as to how far people are going with the mourning period, but let's, again, yeah. it's not worth getting into well, here. No, that's not what, that's not our, that's not the our The Queen's podcast. funeral is on Monday. Um, so that will probably be the end of all that stuff. So Tuesday onwards next week, Thing should hopefully return, return to normal service but it, it's it, that's what makes it weird is that this magazine's come out the doctor magazine account didn't tweet about it a few days before with the cover reveal it was just leaked via like Panini, panini's official website this was the next issue yeah so people kind of found out themselves what the, the, the issue was going to be um but the doctor Who episode countdown that we've talked about you know where they got pictures of episodes from jody's era and they were going right we're counting yeah, down yeah, yeah that's right we're counting yeah, yeah. down I mean, they're going to have to go at, like, sonic speed to get through them after this. They're going to have Spam quite a bit tweet. to catch up on. Spam. Um, so we want to acknowledge that because that obviously means once this kicks back up next week, we don't know where we're going to be. Will w- Would there have been a centenary trailer if the Queen hadn't died? We don't know. Would there have been a poster? We don't know. So it's kind of in the air right now as to how things are going to yeah. pan out. The plan is to still do Series 4 next week. But that may change because we're we'll in. See. We we're don't in a know period what's going to happen of, you know, next week. What, what was it said in Star Wars? A period of civil unrest. What was it? How does that open? Civil war? Whatever. Uh, it, somehow Palpatine returned. Somehow Palpatine returned. They fly now. Yeah. They fly now. Yeah, they, um, they fly now. <laughs> they fly now. Um, so just bear that in mind, folks, for future episodes because we don't know how it's going to work yet. But as you all know, we're definitely doing a live centenary special. On that, you can rely. On that, you can trust. So, yes. Now we've acknowledged that. Back to the magazine. So um, I'm going to send you this picture first, which is, uh, I believe, maybe one of the covering Whoa. bits of the interview. And it's Sasha doing one heck of a cool pose. That Can is we just so say, sick. Now I've seen the outfit a bit better. Are you getting Capaldi vibes? Series 8 Capaldi vibes from this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, definitely. With the button up. All I'm the making way a done. connection in my head. Maybe I saw something on Twitter to help me, in- to help me feel it, but I- I'm getting a connection in my head and I'm wondering about it. We have said constantly... That Sasha Dewan comes yeah. before Missy. Comes after John Sim. Yeah. Comes before Missy. Yeah. yeah. If he comes after Missy, could it be he's taking out for inspiration from the 12th Doctor? Does that prove our theory wrong? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. It might not. Or maybe, it might mean absolutely or nothing. Or maybe the Doctor unintentionally took uh, it could, mm, inspiration. Well, no. Not no, at all. We'll be one it doesn't work timeline work. wise. It just um, looks like the time heist outfit without the the it braces. It does. It does look like he had the a time red, heist outfit, like a red doesn't it? shirt for that, didn't he? And, and like yeah. no waistcoat. So interesting. It looks yeah. great, though. It looks great, it looks and I love excellent. his like manic pose. And like, I'll I'll make sure I blur out the rest of the text. You obviously just can't read the page verbatim, but I'll leave the quote on next to it, which is, uh, "I don't know if I'll ever do another job where I'll get to show so much range." And that's, and that's the thing with Doctor Who. It's like it's 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 such a great show for that for getting to be like. You know, to just convey this Bombastic. range of emotions that are just fantastic. Um, yeah, so I, 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 I love that. I love the outfit though. And is this is yes. this the first time we've seen him with specs? He doesn't usually wear specs, does he? This is what I'm wondering. Yeah, so he's got he's got specs on. Um that well, I mean, yeah, we haven't seen him wear glasses right the way through. So A lot of a lot of people, I don't know, have you heard this theory about the young and old master? Well, didn't I didn't I give you that theory? Did, oh, maybe I, you did. I was oh, the one who said it to you to begin with. I was like, what if that's like an early version of the Master and the bearded one is like the old gritty version? Well, look, I mean, 
he looks young and vibrant and youthful. What if this is, yeah, the post Missy, I'm all good guy. Mm. <laughs> and then, and then the timeless child stuff happens. He's like, oh, well, stuff it. Because I did say that would, that would then, you know, it would make more sense as to how he turns out, how he is after Missy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it would make sense. And that, again, it would line up. Has he taken some light inspiration of an outfit from Capaldi? You know, oh, subconsciously. Now we're cooking. I'm now just we saying, things line up. Things line up. And it, make, it oh, makes some sense. Will Chibnall do sense. that? Is that Maybe. a Chibnall move? I don't know if that's a Chibnall move. Well, speaking of young Sasha Duan, our next picture, intriguingly, has him being arrested. As, as, oh, as, wow. as you do. As Is that you do. unit? It, I believe it's two unit soldiers. I can't quite make out the logo on their helmets, uh, but it looks like he's being kind of forcibly dragged oh, into... Oh, my gosh. He is, look, he is playing the victim. Look, he's so innocent looking in that photo. Me? I couldn't possibly do anything yeah, what wrong. If, no, what if he's the good guy? What if the master shows up and the doctor's like, arrest him and unit arrest him? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? What have I done? And he genuinely hasn't guy. lived through Spyfall yet. Like, he actually doesn't oh, know what he's being arrested for. Oh, my goodness. For. Like this, my theory is it's gaining fire because I've always said he was, he was between Missy and Sim. But as soon as I saw that trailer and I said that to you, I was like, maybe he's not. And I've kind of forgotten about it. But now it's, I'm like, it's, it, it's I'm staring me in the face. Troy, I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. We can't be disappointed if it's not the case. I know, that's what's MD. worrying me. We can't be disappointed if it's not the case because I really <laughs> like that idea. I like that as a story point, as a story beat. Genuinely. Um, But... Look, mate, I'm with you on that one. Those handcuffs look very tight. They don't look tight at all. Mm, they, oh, maybe they, they are. don't. They don't. Unless there's some uh, kind of special maybe. energy cuffs. You it's know, some all kind of, a ruse. It's all a ruse. Oh, no. Oh, no. Imagine. Um, we also have very a picture good. of Sasha in his, as I've said before, Tom Hanks castaway attempt, uh, Oscar winning. Uh, here is a full look at Sasha Dewan with the beard. There was a big pause there while I was getting ready to send the, the uh, image. Oh but look at that. Look what at is, that. Is that goodness. What is that? Is that Rasputin? <laughs> <laughs> that is ridiculous. Honestly, I'm just like, I, I don't I don't know. That I'm, I'm is not the reading the text I'm going to save it for myself when I read the magazine tomorrow. Most manic but... look. That is yeah. the most manic look I've ever seen. But now we see what he's actually wearing. Because in that shot from the centenary where he has the beard, the centenary trailer, I should say, um, we never actually saw what he was wearing. It's just a very, very close-up shot. So I like it. I dig. I dig the fit, Dewan. Yeah, I dig I'm the really, fit, really Dewan. excited about it. I'm really excited. It just looks good, man. I think I saw like a green screen version someone had already made on Twitter. So if I can find it and save it, I'll use that as the the image so we don't get any any text. But either way, I'll get a good idea from the the outfit. But yeah, really long My hair, goodness. really long beard. Actually, I'm not sure what's longer out of the beard and the hair. I think it might be equal footing from the angle of the camera. Depends on whether that it goes is down his back. Crazy. You know? Who knows. That's a that big beard, crazy. though. That is crazy. It kind of looks like Hagrid's hair is his beard. <laughs> that is like <laughs> a Hagrid does. hairstyle beard. You're That's a wizard. A doctor. lot of a lot. Of <laughs> Sorry, that That's was a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> no, I liked it. I liked it. I liked We're back it. Back in a lot. 2014, I'm a what? A wizard, I'm, Harry. I'm a what? I'm a what? But I'm Good just I'm Harry. What? Okay, let's not go through all that. So, no. I've shown you that because we are going to go back to young Sasha for the last couple of photos of him. And hang on, how many photos have I've we got, got of Dewan? I've got about ten. Most well, I of suppose are of the, in, the interview the interview is of mm. him, I suppose. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So here is a very cool photo and labelled as well. If you didn't know, it was Sasha Dewan. A photo of Sasha Dewan with a very nice label. Look at him; he's doing a really cool little pose. He's posing Whoa. with a, with, a, with a with a little a little compre tissue compression figure. Oh, little yeah. tissue compression. Yeah. But the thing the thing I'm wondering though, Crispy, is look at look at that figure, and then look at the next image. What, what do you see, Crispy? Stop. What do you see? Stop. What do you see? No. What do you, what do you see? I'm waiting for you to clock it before we say it. What do you see? No. What do you see, Crispy? It, Tell the audience what you see. Is, has Yaz been shrunken? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the figure he is holding in the picture is a tissue compressed figure, so like he compressed the, the real O in Spyfall, the way he tissue compressed the, cyber, uh, the lone Cyberman in uh, Timeless Children. Mm -hmm. There is a tissue compression figure that he's holding, looking very quite proud of, in his younger master version. So it could be this is the point where he turns bad as the younger master. Who knows? I'm really trying to fit this into my theory, can you tell? Um, yeah. But he's holding the figure, and the figure has a very distinctive yellow jacket, which or yellow creamy beigey, which is what Yaz is wearing in all the promotional material for the Centenary Special. So 
if the pictures are leading us anywhere, there is a pretty fair chance he's going to shrink Yaz. That is crazy. I didn't think yes. tissue compression was going to play any part in this centenary. That is wild. Like, we're almost stretching into the point now where we're knowing more than we want to. So I'm hoping that this kind of cuts off here. We get another trailer and that's it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Thank you. Because we'll get to you later. Another Doctor Who magazine is going to release before the special. We'll get there. But, you know, that leaves another issue for Jodie to be like, goodbye. She'll know that will be on the cover of it and all that. We'll get there at the end. Um, mm. But yeah, the only thing that makes me feel okay about this is obviously the lone Cyberman man was shrunk and he's back. Okay, so there is a way. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, is it confirmed that like tissue compression kills? Well, I thought he killed out because he had that figure in on the plane he, in Spyfall and chucked killed... him away. Well, he chucked it. Was it the act of throwing it away that killed him though? Maybe, you know, head trauma from being flung against a plane wall. I don't know. Yeah. I honestly don't know. Um, it kind of reminds me a bit of, uh, you know, in Loki, uh, episode, I think it's episode four, where Mobius gets pruned and everyone's like, oh my goodness, Mobius yeah, is yeah, dead. Yeah. This is so sad. I was crying. And then Loki gets yeah. pruned at the end of the episode. And you're like, well, there's got to be a way well, out of it now. Loki's not there dead. There has to be a way out. You know, and then you see Loki's yeah. alive in the end credit scene. You're like, okay, so Mobius must be. It's kind of the same thing. You know, we thought the Lone Side might have been killed. He's in oh. a trailer. If Yaz is about to find and find get shrunk again, she's probably cool too, you know? Well, so don't panic too much. <laughs> I just hope that we get to spend plenty of time with Yaz. Like, I'd, I'd hate it if she got shrunk at the start of the episode and, you know, we miss out on, you know, a glorious bro, 80 minutes bro, with Yaz. Bro, I don't I think that's going to be the case. I told you so what? many times the, th- the Thasmic kiss is 10 minutes long. You can't oh, ask sorry, for I more forgot, than that. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, Stay I forgot, with I the forgot. program, man. God. I'm sorry. I'm you have sorry. James Corden. I have Thasmin, okay? I mean, you're right, right. Right. I said, like, you don't <laughs> we'll like Thasmin, we'll, but, like, I'm just we'll, claiming it. I'm claiming ownership. We'll, <laughs> We'll get t-shirts, mate. We'll get t-shirts. Yes. I have actually ordered a Thasmin t-shirt from Forbidden Planet. There's a really cool one. Um, have you actually? Yeah, and I'm waiting for it to be... It takes up to like a month to oh, be dispatched. Oh, you're to send it to me. I saw a few friends ordered it at the time, and like they've just got it now, and I'm like, right, I know I need to get this. So I'll have it for the centenary, yeah. no doubt, and I'll try and wear yeah. it on the, on the stream. Um, but that's the... That have all the Sasha photos. So let's now go through the few extras that we've got. And we've got some crackers. We've got some absolute cream crackers, mate. Here's our first one of... Ace, right. just kicking her feet on a desk. Oh, whoa, is that a high definition? Oh, no. That is actually, really that's the highest definition image that we've got. That's a that is stunning Ace photo. just kicking her feet up. Is she wearing dots? Is that, do you think she's that unit there? Sorry, we need to describe, we need to, we need to describe the pictures for our audio listeners. Yeah, so she's leaning back in a chair with her, her feet kicked up on a desk, and there's a, there's a glass of water and some other thing on the desk and a screen behind her and some windows and you, the walls are wide. Do you think, floor. okay, do you think Ace... Do do you think Ace is a glass half full kind of girl or a glass half empty <laughs> Shut kind of girl? Off. Shut <laughs> off! Shut off! I think she's a glass half full kind of girl. I think we all. I reckon are, she's very you optimistic. Know. Yeah, we're both glass half full girls as well, aren't we? <laughs> Amen to that. Amen, Amen to, to that, that, my brother. So that's a cool photo. Not much to say about that apart from you know there's some stuff on the screen behind her, but I there's there's an image near I... the top right of three people on a camera shot. Maybe that's Ooh. I don't know the Doctor and Yaz and Dan. I don't know. I'm 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 I really it's reaching just... there. Stock background nonsense. Spe- yeah, imagine it is. Speaking of shots of three people, here's a lovely photo of Jodie Whittaker, um, Janet Fielding, and Sophie Aldridge together. Thirteen Tegan and uh, and Ace. Please forgive me. It took me a minute to remember Tegan's actress's name. There, I'm not the biggest that classic is... fan. Of Kate. Like, I'm just proud to remember it. But no, that that is a very cool photo. That is a power shot. I like. Is that Jodie shot that tall? Is she Jodie that tall? Or are Tegan and Ace that small? Question mark. I swear, Jodie's like quite short. I guess, I guess Sophie isn't tall, Dred. Oh my gosh. Moving Where swiftly did that on from one that come image from? as well. Wow. Um, don't even, don't even, don't even. <laughs> Here is probably my favourite image. Okay, this is probably okay. my favourite image. I'm not trying to hype it up too much. I just really like this image. Okay, because all right, all right. it is a group shot in unit, presumably, ooh, ooh. with the 13th Doctor, Yaz, Kate Stewart, Ace and Tegan all in the shot. All together. All in the line, too. They're all looking yeah. at a screen or something. Yeah, they've got a nice little, like, Congo line going on. It's it's really cool. Conga line. I said Congo line, not Congo Conga. A, a, a <laughs> Congo line? <laughs> a Congo line. The Democratic Republic of the Congo line. It's, uh, it's a thing in Doctor <laughs> Who. Um, but yeah, I just love that shot. I, I think it's just because I like seeing all of them together. It is weird how he points out that they are all kind of just in a line. 
Just not much space between the desks, yeah. I guess, maybe? I don't know. Well, it, look, I don't know if you've noticed throughout the Chibnall era, since there are usually so many cast members, the way they lay out the shots to kind of make it look nice is they will usually have them in, like, a, a V formation or just, like, yeah. a line to try and get everyone flying in the shot. Flying V, and give boys! Them space. Flying V! Yeah. <laughs> so, I feel like that's kind of what we're seeing. Like, the camera will definitely be facing towards like Kate Stewart and stuff, but the photographer on the days obviously snapped that picture. So it does look funny from that perspective, but yeah. I reckon in the actual episode, it'll look much better than that photo. 100%. But it's a very cool photo seeing all of them together like that. You go the girls. Go girls. Yeah, exactly. You know, and we're going to, it's going to annoy so many, you know, annoying Doctor Who fans who are like, oh, all the women. Who cares? Girls are cool. Who cares? But where's my John Bishop? Where is he? He's actually in none of these photos, which is kind of crazy. Is he because all in I have the left is a rocking good photo? I don't believe oh was, were, were they in the trailer? I don't know if they were. I think no, they were. They were. We had this discussion. They were in the trailer. Um, but just a nice full body confirmation of the return of the Sad Masters. Oh whoa! Wait, and I they think in that the armor looks different because I'm looking at my Sad Master figure here, and yep, those pants did not look like that. that it was just a, a regular old cool. Sandman body with a black robe and really Gallifrey cool. and stuff on the head. Stuff on the head. I'm looking at the figure right now. I'm looking at it. And on, on the picture, it's got, like, more spikes on the legs. It's got, like, kind of... Yeah. I mean, I, I'm such a nerd, but it kind of reminds me of Daedric Armor from Skyrim. If anyone's ever played Skyrim, it kind of reminds me of that. Did you ever play Skyrim, I, Chris? I Bain? love the design. No, no, I have <sighs> not played Skyrim. I don't play hey, money. Like, I don't play much. There'll be, like, three people out there who get that. By the way, I, I Saint, uh, Crispy got Saints Row 3. I managed to get him to get that, so we're going to play yeah. it at some point. We should stream <laughs> we'll it. We'll definitely have to play that at some point. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we could try and stream it on the Who's There channel as, like, a little bit of a mix-up for our hosts, if people are interested in that, maybe. It might not fit on there, so we'll, we'll, we'll give it a we'll go. See. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I had an idea for what the poll was going to be. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it's about what people think of the title. That's what I'm going to go with that for the poll. Yeah, yeah. title, title, um, title. Oh, yeah. So there's the Side Masters confirmed. There is one more shot of the Side Masters, just for the sake of not sharing too many pictures. I'm not going to put this one on the screen, but I'll just show you. It's just another group shot of them. There's Honestly, I promise there's nothing special to it. There's just some Side wow. Masters and a couple of Side Men all together, just kind of doing cyber oh, things. It does look really... It looks like this, looks like this guy is like the leader of them, even though we have... What's his name? Uh, Ashad, what's the what's Ashad, the, guy? Yeah. The, the lone the lone Cyberman? He's back as well. So who's the main Cyberman here? Is it this? Who is who is the looking? Cyber Master? Oh my goodness! All right, there is a be. lot going on. And there you go. So our final picture, and this is a nice round off for everything that we've seen. This is taken apparently from the front page. I thought this was the next time preview, and this is going to lead us quite nicely into the end of the discussion for this uh, before we summarize our thoughts. Apparently on the front page of the magazine on the inside, there is this photo, which I can't get in full. I've, oh. there are no, I've not seen any full versions. If I find one later, I will oh. share it. But it is it is a cool edit of Jody with like regeneration energy around her. It's a cool. Oh my god! Oh guys, it's happening. It's it's. We're getting close. We're getting close. I'm we're honestly just not close. looking forward to this at all. I am, but I'm not. You know, I don't want it to go. I don't want to go. Don't want it to go. I man. don't want it. I don't want to go. I don't want it to go. Um, but yeah. So that that's that's the image on the inside front cover, and all there is to confirm is they're literally next next to issue. Normally, there's a big thing at the back of the magazine to say what's coming next. It's apparently ne- non-existent this time, from what I what I've been told. It just says at oh. the bottom of the corner that the next issue, Doctor Who Magazine issue 583, can you believe there's been that many issues? Like, just think about that. I can. <laughs> 583 I can. issues, the next one. Uh, it's every four weeks, and they have confirmed that does mean the next issue will release Thursday, the 13th of October, and instead of cost- costing the regular, is it 5.99 or 6.99? It's uh, got it on here. Uh, 6.99. Uh, it's going to cost 10.99, and that either means there's going to be a poster included or there's going to be a booklet, or both. Like they normally do like an extra book supplement to kind of an extra round something. things up. Yeah, I yeah. think a supplement on Jody's era is probably likely. Um, but I'm hoping also a centenary. I want, I honestly want that edit of Jody in the cover to be a poster because that goes hard. Yeah, that image, I love that, it. I it, want it's that. It's really cool. I want that as a wallpaper. It goes so hard. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I can't, be- I can't believe we're actually talking about the centenary with information. Can I just? I can't believe we're talking about the power of the Doctor. Oh, yeah. that's so weird. I'm so used to saying centenary. It's been five months, man, since Sea Devils. Five months of us calling it the centenary special. And now it's called the power of the Doctor. 
there, there was genuinely a moment when we thought Chibnall was going to just call it the centenary special. Be like, guys, yeah. stop, imagine if stop theorizing. I, I would have respected. It. I like we could we just call it the centenary special. It would have been funny for a joke, but in hindsight, would have been horrific because, like, you know, you go, oh. what were Jody's episodes? You know, we had Eve of the Daleks, Legend of the Sea Devils, the centenary special. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't I, hit hard in retrospect. I wouldn't. I honestly wouldn't have hated it. To be fair, and I would have hated you for saying that. I mean, what? 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 Moving on. Oh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this is where we round off our discussion because, because, ladies and gentlemen, the BBC Centenary. Let me, I've, I've seen this date before. Uh, BBC Centenary Week. Because I've got to double check this because. Is it the 16th? Um, well, well, there's two options. There's two options. Okay. Okay. Where is Hit the date? <laughs> where is the date? Centenary is in October. What what week is it? I know it's been used. I'm looking it up right now. We've got the time. You know, we've got a bit more time left in the episode. Crispy, stall for time. Stall for time. Uh, Power of the Doctor. What a title. <laughs> I love it. I love it ah, a lot. There we go. There we go. Uh, as per Cult Box, uh, thank you very much, Cult Box, in August 2022, the BBC Centenary falls on the 18th of October. So... That is a Tuesday. So okay. logic would dictate the centenary week would be between Monday the 17th and Sunday the 23rd of October. Now, they could either opt to go a tiny bit early and do Sunday the 16th of October for the centenary special or give Doctor Who the respect it deserves, let it close out the centenary week and have it air on Sunday the 23rd of October, which I personally believe is the date they're going to go for. I think they will as well. But I genuinely but, but, think but, but, they but, 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 but. it doesn't actually matter which date out of the two it releases on because, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of which of those dates it releases on, the next Doctor Who magazine is Thursday the thirteenth, which means it's either ah. going to come out three days prior to the episode or a week and three days prior to the episode. Like at this point, we can pretty much confirm it's going to be either the sixteenth or the twenty-third. No doubt, once the the Queen morning has passed and we get back into the countdown, they'll not long. There won't be long till a poster. And then a trailer. I heard someone say, I think it might have been T, saying that it's about six weeks, the promotion, usually for Chibnall era. They kind of do a poster. They rev it up with the trailer a bit close to the time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're about in the six weeks territory now. So if it is the 23rd, let me go back. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're already in the six week gap. It was six oh, okay. weeks until the episode on Sunday, the 11th of September. So we're in that bracket now. So soon, marketing, you know? Soon. The next six weeks for this podcast are going to be crazy. <laughs> and I wonder if the countdown would have finished with the series 11 episodes on the Doctor Who Twitter in time for them to do a poster and be like, we're doing the countdown, but here's your first teaser for the centenary. Then they get through and the series bu- bu- 12 bu- bu- episodes. Bu- 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 next teaser. Then they get through the series 13. So you, Who knows? You know, who genuinely knows how they were planning it? Mm. It's all going to be very strange with, with, the, with the spanner in the works of everything moving around. Um, but it's, it's intriguing. So we will be getting one more Doctor Who magazine before Jody regenerates, before the power of the Doctor airs. So cool to say that. I'm so glad I can say it in so front of cool. you as well. I'm so glad I can say so, it in front of you. So damn cool. So to conclude, we've had our theory episodes. You've dabbled with theories. Now you've met the yeah. genuine article when it comes mm-hmm. to centenary special discussions because we know the name. We have a pretty good idea of the air date. We've got some more pictures, got a bit more of an idea maybe of the, f- the formation of it. Uh, and also you, my friend, found a description on Amazon of the Centenary special. Did you not? I did. It uh, wasn't very exciting. <laughs> I'm just going to get it back up again. I'm going to get it back up again. Um, so the description for the special says as follows. Her final battle, her deadliest enemies, the 13th Doctor faces multiple threats from Daleks, Cybermen and the Master in a fight for her very existence. That is what we know so far very vague very vague very vague all stuff we knew but we got some images yeah we got the master oh. being arrested possibly we've got unit we have got joji regenerating there's there's a lot there's a lot and it feels nice to be like this can kind of be our little bookend now i doubt we'll have another centenary full episode um mm. until it airs you know obviously when the trailer comes out we'll no doubt break that down but we probably won't do that for a full yeah. episode i don't think that'll warrant it so you'll never know you never well, I mean if it's like a five minute trailer, if it's then a yeah, big but one. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. They just release, release like ten clips in the centenary. And you just put them all together and you pretty much got the episode. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm watch <laughs> it you now. got What's the, the episode, yeah. Yeah. Um 
So we so to round up everything we know, The Power of the Doctor, a 90-minute special episode of Doctor Who, the longest single episode in the show's history, longer than the TV Heck movie, yeah. longer than Day of the Doctor, longer than Deep Breath, is going to release presumably on Sunday the 23rd of October to close out the BBC's centenary celebrations. It will feature mm-hmm. Jodie Whittaker's final episode as the 13th Doctor, the return of Ashad, the lone Cyberman, Cyberman, the Cybermasters, General Cybermen, the Daleks, as well as Sasha Dawn's master, possibly good or bad or both, alongside Kate Stewart, Ace and Tegan. And that is just what we know. There could well be so much more. There have been rumours in the past of classic companions returning that we don't know about, like other companions showing up. We mm-hmm. genuinely don't know. There could be more to this. I mean, I would hope there's more to this, you know? I'm not saying I want more, but I'm like just thinking, you know, if everything, if they've already no, played their more. hand in the teasers and there's no, no one else to reveal, it would be a bit sad. I want Vinder as well. Yeah, there is yeah Bell, Bell, uh, Bell and Vinder, I, I have a strong feeling. Well, Vinder's in the trailer, but I have a feeling Bell will rock up as well. What if, what if the Master shrinks down Yaz? And then that shot of her in the TARDIS aiming a gun is like some kind of clone alternate version of her. Like while she's been shrunk, shrunk and the doctor doesn't know it yet. Ooh. She's been shrunk. I just clocked that and I'm like, Ooh, I'm like, Ooh, Troy. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Because wh- why Gaz has a gun out in the TARDIS and a lot of people are like, Oh, and people have already spotted by the way in that shot. Cause we never noticed it. Jodie is behind her in that shot. She's in the distance. How do you know? There was an image that showed it. I'll, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find the image. I'll find the image, wait, mate. Wait, so so Jodie's behind her in that shot. Okay, well, this this is news to me. This is a, oh, like, off the press okay, right now. Okay, okay, okay. My Look goodness. very carefully at this image. And again, video listeners, try to, if you haven't seen this already, look very carefully. Around Yaz's shoulder and around My her back, there is a grey coat. And by her neck, you can see a little bit of yellow and a little bit of the blue hood. Jodie is correct. in the background. And it looks well. It looks like you know Jodie's obviously like attending to something, but Jodie's usually not a big fan of companions just holding guns. Like it seems like is she holding someone prisoner in the TARDIS? And Yaz's face look like she's she's pulling an interesting face. It doesn't seem very Yaz like. And what if he has cloned her? Oh. Can he clone her? Is that a thing the master can do? I don't know. The master can do whatever they damn yeah. well want. But it'd be interesting if maybe like let's just not go with the clone theory just for this one scenario. Um, if the doctor is attending to something, Yaz knows it's bad to pull out a gun in the TARDIS. But while the doctor's looking away, she's like, "Oh, okay. Now's my now's my chance to do something." I don't know. I don't know. I highly doubt she'd get away with that. She might be thinking it, but I highly doubt that she'd have that. You'd have that whole sequence of aiming a gun, and the doctor's just like. Oh, I really like hey. Jelly Babies or whatever she's thinking in the corner, like at the TARDIS, just like, ah, oh, da 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 turns around. How are you guys doing? Fine. All good. All good. Was just showing good. Dan my new Nerf gun, you know? Like, no. My, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That is actually, that is the question. Like, place your bet. We know it's not the Doctor. Um, Who do you think the gun is being aimed at? Yeah. Who's I'd say who's to you, I'm gonna, if I'd say to you right now, you have to pick one name. Who would be your top bet? M- master. The I'm master. thinking it could be the master. It could be a kind of breaking free of some kind of brainwash and realizing what's going on and naming a gun at him. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. It's too hard. It's too hard. It's too hard. <laughs> or to just be about. like Kate Stewart or something that we're not expecting. It's just Kate in the TARDIS. She just gets a gun named on her, and it's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Watch now in like five weeks' time. We do this episode. And it's like, well, I was right. It was Kate Stewart. Well, <laughs> well, we called it. I'm actually. Oh. That's the. Uh, we'll we'll be watching this scene intently. Be like, who yes. was Yaz I'll be pointing the, the gun episode at? Intently. What do you mean? No, no, no. But this scene in particular, when it comes up, we'll be like, oh my god, we're gonna find out. <laughs> she got a gun. She got a gun. She got a gun. She got a gun. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. yeah. So. I think that's, you know, we're a little bit early. We've only been going for about 45 minutes this time. Maybe a little bit longer. Thank I don't know. goodness. Well, you want to go to bed, do you? I want to go to bed. I need to. Yeah. I can't. I gen- Throughout that recording, just before, when we were looking at the images, I kind of forgot we were in a podcast. And I was just like, <laughs> looking, I was I was looking at them. I was like, oh, this is sick. I'm just like talking to myself like, oh, wait, we're actually live we, right now. We need to decide what we're going to call yeah. this episode of the podcast, though. Like, what, what are we going to call, call it? Call it uh, Doctor Who Centenary Title Revealed. Well, yeah, do you, do you not want to put the power of the Doctor in the title? No, because then some people might be mad, or even though it's going to leak anyway. Yeah, it's going to leak know. anyway, and plus, if you listen to the episode, you're going to hear it anyway, so... Hmm. Oh, it's going to be on Saturday. Yeah, okay, call it the power of the Doctor. But what, I don't know, the power of the yeah, Doctor... Yeah, it's difficult, uh, isn't it? B- details. <laughs> we know the know. centenary title. Oh, like, yeah, there we go. Emergency episode yeah, or yeah. something. <laughs> we, we know the centenary... Oh, I like code that. We red, know the centenary. Code Red, we know the title. We know the title. Yeah. 
I like that. I like that. Yeah. Put a picture of Sasha Dawn in the middle of the two of us, you know, for the thumbnail. Yeah. It'd be great. Oh. It'd be great. Yeah. Speaking of, do you guys like the new audio thumbnails we're trialing out? You know, done the yeah, episode 23 else. and 24, you know? Just felt like something it just else. looked a bit too basic having the text on for all of them. And plus, it's half the time it's so small, you can't even see it anyway. It'd be nice to have a bit more of a visual difference that kind of strikes out when you look at it in like the audio version. So hopefully yeah. you guys yeah. like those. Hopefully you like them. Hopefully. Um, but I think that's a good point to, 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 to pause, to kind of wrap up our Definitely. discussions. So you got a bit more time this time, Crispy, so just let loose. What are Crispy's closing comments for episode 25, which can I just point out the irony? Our quarter centennial episode uh, is the episode we got the centenary good. title. I mean, I'm not saying we planned it from the start, but maybe we planned it from the start. You know, maybe uh, that was our plan all along. You know, maybe know. maybe that's literally yeah. All the weeks off com- com- culminated in this one moment. Yeah, right you now. got COVID specifically, so you time it specifically. So the so 20th when, episode would yeah. be this. <laughs> I looked at the release date for the Doctor Who magazines all the way back when we started this. And I was like, yeah, I've, got an, I've got an idea here. I've got an idea here. I've got a um, plan. I've got a, I'm have got a man with a plan. I have a plan, um, Arthur. I just need money. You won't get that reference, but hopefully someone out there will. Wow. That was something. You really got into character then. <laughs> Did um, I? So, so you want some closing thoughts? I want your closing comments, bro. Not thoughts. Got to have that alliteration, right. my good man. Crispy's closing comments. Wait, what do you have written on your arm apart from your tattoo? Uh, thumbnail. I need to do a thumbnail for, <laughs> for what, the podcast. A video. Oh. No, not for the podcast. I've got a. I've got a video that is supposed to be out in four hours. And you haven't done so it yet. I need to do. Wait, so you're gonna stay no, up and do done, that before you I've, go to bed. I need to do a thumbnail. Yep. Oh, you're gonna have so little sleep. Right. Closing comments. Oh. Go, 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 go. Closing comments. Um, the power of the Doctor was not a title that we were expecting, but I think it's a very welcome title, and you know. With Troy and I tonight, I think I realized not just the power of the doctor, but the power of the podcast. And I thank you. Well said. And you've given me a great quote to end off the the episode. Um, To slightly adapt a quote from the eighth doctor, I'm a centenary special title, but probably not the one you were expecting. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. Be- there you gosh, go. we're there good. You go. good. This is what the people want. This yeah. is and what we the people the have been asking for. We talked about the start of the episode. It's all it's full all circle, baby. Full circle. It, full it's circle. It's all full circle. circle. Do you know, if you get a semicircle wow. and a semicircle together, you make a circle. I bet you didn't know that. What? Your you mind has now been blown. I thought you'd have two semicircles. Well, you know what? These things happen. Your mind can be blown sometimes. It's kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy, yeah. but these things do happen. Yeah. These things do happen. Yeah. Hmm. So. Despite it being a slightly short up episode of the podcast this time, which we can only apologise for, but do you know what? There's no point in dragging it out if we don't need to. We, we've got to the point. New. It's a podcast with a plan to the point. To the point. Exactly. As we've said before, mm. you know? The, I think the thing, the thing that makes a difference this time is that we've, we've discussed for the same number of time, amount of time, but we haven't got audience reactions this time because it's like the emergency episode. Everyone's commented regarding series four. So I tell you what, to wrap it up, let me see if there's any com- uh, uh, comments we didn't read and it was episode 17. It was actually a little bit, a little while ago. It was July we last talked about this. Wow, I thought it was more recent than that. Let me see if there's any extra messages we can just pull from the uh, from that episode. To see if we've got any extra theories to talk about. Uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, ooh, okay. Jeremy Duncan. I haven't read this theory. I'm just going to, because it starts with, I have a theory that is crazy as hell. So let's have one bit of audience interaction. So we can't go an episode without it. All right. Okay, boys. I have a theory that is crazy as hell. What if the master, after becoming deranged, in brackets, bearded, yeah, because when you go bearded, you go deranged, just look at me. Um, it is true. What look if the boy. master, after becoming deranged, kills the doctor, and after that, the master discovers he is also a timeless child, and that the doctor and the master came through the dimensional boundary together as sibling? Good grief, what is going on in this comment? As siblings. Then the master travels back to warn the doctor and Yaz as clean-shaven master, so he can prevent her death, but that fractures time, resurrecting Ashad. It's crazy, but I wouldn't put it past Chindle to leave by blowing the doors wide open. My brain hurts. I My b- am, I was like I was like Troy. I just wrapped up the episode. I don't want to hear a crazy theory right now. My brain's really sore, but I actually really dig that theory. I, dig I would it. like that. I would because I mean, like all of us have been begging for. Like the master to be the timeless child. I've never even considered that there be could be more than one timeless child. Oh my god, there was an episode called The Timeless Children. Oh my Troy, it's happening. It's been staring us right in the face. 
I don't know if I can keep the noise in and me slamming my mouth because that might scare listeners if they're like driving or something. And my mum listens to the podcast while she's driving. I probably can't keep that noise yeah. in. But I just slam my mouth out of shock for context. Wow. Um, yeah. I just replied to the comments and said, uh, see you in episode 25. So he's got that to look yeah, forward to. Yeah, good stuff. I, wow. I'm going to wrap up there because my, my brain hurts and I am, uh, I'm not ready for centenary special. For Sorry, I'm not ready for Power of the Doctor. It's literally there habitual. There it is. It's habitual. I know. It's, it's so going to be hard to adjust. That. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. So, ladies and gentlemen, all being well, because who knows at this point, we'll be back with next week's episode, episode 26, where we discuss series four of Doctor Who. We've got a bunch of audience interaction from you guys. Do you know what? Should we just reuse the same? We've done this before where we just have the same Q&A. People can submit more series four comments if they oh, want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chuck Let's it do in. that. Chuck it in. So if you didn't submit your thoughts on series four last week, do it again this week. Let us know what you think of it. Drop your theories and th- uh, your thoughts, sorry, not theories down below. But... Also, if you want to slide something else, this will be more on YouTube. If anyone on YouTube wants to come in, because YouTube tends to comment more about the episode itself rather than the next one. Let us know what you think of all the news about the centenary. If we get an extra comment or two with that, we might read them out at the start of next week's episode, you know? Kind of round off our discussion. Cause Beautiful. Beautiful. There's a lot to talk about. But we're going to wrap up too there. Too much. So thank you all very much for watching and listening. We greatly do appreciate it. And we will see you thank all you. next week in episode 26, where we look back on series four, provided the BBC doesn't drop like three trailers and a poster for the centenary, and then we're just <laughs> stuck again to not Power of the Doctor, which I wouldn't complain about, but no let's would keep I. it fresh. Let's keep it fresh. Let's have different things to talk about, you know? And sooner or later, I think we should do some episodes where we look at specific episodes. I realise this, that that could be a good yeah, thing yeah, to yeah. do. You know, have some audiences vote to give us some episodes. You know, we pick out like five modern episodes at random, let the audience vote which one they want us to watch, and, you know, we we'll love to. it. Something like that. We'll that would be great. It. But let's, let's do that. Put it into like an AI machine, list all the modern episodes and like <laughs> like let it roll five and then do it as a pot. Let's do that. Let's do that soon. There you go. It's an idea for the future. Cool. Beautiful. All right. Write it Always down. Always sliding in extra ideas while we're recording. It's just how we do. Love it. It's how we do. It's how we do. So until then, it's goodbye from Crispy. Goodbye, everyone. And it's goodbye from me. See you all next week in episode 26. Alon Z. Alon Z. Ah, we timed it that time. No awkward pause. I love it. Yes. I know. Pull the outro. Go, go, go. 